of this rain most likely definitely will impact a big weekend here in Indianapolis. There are a lot of outdoor events planned, including, of course, the Brickyard 400 and all the fun events leading right up to it. And here's what we know so far. The FGL Fest that kicks off at 3 o'clock tomorrow will go on despite rain or whatever comes along. Lightning or strong winds, though, would stop it. And if you're planning to go to tomorrow's Xfinity race or the Brickyard on Sunday, be ready for rain delays. Our Mary Mills joins us now from Georgia Street with a look at the rain plan for some of the other big events in town. Mary? Hey, John, the rain has definitely picked up in the last hour, but that hasn't stopped diehard Colts fans from coming out for the kickoff concert tonight. It's still a go. They came prepared. And other events are still a go, despite looking to be a very soggy weekend. Penrod bills itself as Indiana's nicest day, but unfortunately, not this year. That's right, think? Indiana, what are you giving me? Catching the remnants of Tropical Storm Gordon. Not a pretty sight and not an easy job as artists assembled their tents and put up their displays in the midst of heavy rain. It's this artist's first Penrod. She came from Tennessee. They've said that we could pack up and leave and they wouldn't be insulted, but having come this far, and I've, I've worked so hard. Yeah, so we're staying. Unlike some other art shows, Penrod is just one day. It typically draws hundreds of artists and thousands of people, and it goes on rain or shine. The forecast is pretty gloomy, but we're going to, uh, you know, give it a, a bright smile and uh, do our best. If people in Indiana have umbrellas and come out, we're in good shape. St. Joan of Arc is also preparing for all rain and little, if any, shine. While the stage is set, the lights are strung, the outdoor table stacked, the church isn't taking chances with its annual outdoor festival. French Market is moving indoors for the first time in its 30-year history. They'll still have much of that wonderful food, quiche Lorraine and beignets, but it will all be carryout. Everyone is excited about French Market, rain or shine, and we really hope the crowd comes. Uh, we always have a huge crowd, usually 10,000, and we're ready for them should they decide to, to brave the weather. The Indy Ultimate is also still in play for Saturday. The Urban Adventure Race takes entrance in and out of several downtown venues, including Lucas Oil Stadium. If you can kick a football, you can certainly run in the rain. And certainly a lot of big events going on across central Indiana. Obviously, folks would prefer it not be rainy, especially raining throughout the entire weekend. But those we talked to are making the most of it, just hoping that uh, the storms don't involve high winds or lightning, John. 